most welcome to these three hour session of adoration and the holy mass and the holy rosary and as we have gathered around in front of the blessed sacrament the lord is here we read in the word of god wherever two or three are gathered together in my name i am there and the lord is here right now in front of us and we are going to worship him and praise him and sing together glorifying him asking god's intervention mighty intervention in our own families for our children our parents and everyone the lord is going to protect you the lord is going to heal you wherever you are the lord is present in your home you are joining in this holy adoration from different parts of the world but god is present wherever you are when we come in front of the lord remember two things Re hebrew chapter 11 verse 6 we read like this whenever whenever anybody come in the presence of god remember two things without faith it is impossible to please god for whoever would approach him must believe that he exists that he rewards those who seek him two things we have to believe first believe that god exists second believe that he rewards those who seek him so with this faith let us be here in the presence of the blessed sacrament with the faith that he exists with the faith that he will reward those who seek him we are seeking him he will reward you let's all take the holy rosary in our hand let us recite the holy rosary with faith i believe in god the, the father, father almighty, almighty creator of heaven and earth and i believe in jesus christ his only son now lord who was conceived by the power of the holy spirit born of the virgin mary suffered under pontius pilate crucified and died and was buried he descended into the hell on the third day he rose again from the dead he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of god the father almighty from there he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, we offer you the body. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do not let us fall into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. For faith, hope, and charity, hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. The first sorrowful mystery, the agony of our Lord Jesus in the garden. Let us contemplate in this mystery how our Lord Jesus Christ was so afflicted for us in the garden of Gethsemane that his body was bathed in a sweat of blood. In this mystery, let us pray in a special way for all those who are suffering from capital sins, those who are struggling to come out of the sins, sin of pride, envy, gluttony, anger, lust, sloth, avarice, and all the other sins, especially that addiction to pornographies and mobile phones, computer, computer games, and uh, alcohol, drugs, and drinks. Let us pray for all of them, especially our own family members who are struggling with these. Let us pray for them as we recite this decade of the Holy Rosary. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do not let us fall into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God, pray for, for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, pray for, for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners. Now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners. Now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As, As it was, the beginning is now, and ever shall be, world without an Amen. O oh, my Jesus, Jesus forgive us our sins, sins. save us from the fire of hell, lead all souls to heaven. heaven. Especially those who are most in need of your mercy. mercy. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Vincent de Paul, pray for us. Saint Augustine of England, pray for us. The second sorrowful mystery, the scourging of Jesus at the pillar. Let us contemplate in this mystery how our Lord Jesus Christ, being delivered up by Pilate to the fury of the soldiers, was tied to a pillar and most cruelly scourged. In this mystery, let us pray for all the COVID-19 patients, all the doctors and nurses and health workers who are taking care of them, and all the drivers, all the shopkeepers, all those who are um, running very actively involved in the daily, day-to-day -day runnings of the governments. We pray for all of them. Let us also pray for all those who are struggling financially during these times of crisis. Let us pray for them in a special way so that they may all be consoled through the power of the intercession of Our Lady. Let us recite the second decade of the Holy Rosary with this intention. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do not let us fall into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
Now and the draw for that. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this. Now, now and the draw for that. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this. Now, now and the draw for that. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this. Now, now and the draw for that. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this. Now, now and the draw of for that. Amen. O glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As, As it was, was the, the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without an Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fear of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need of your mercy. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, Saint Joseph, Saint Vincent de Paul, Saint Augustine of England. My dear brothers and sisters, as we are reciting this Holy Rosary, the Lord is healing. Some people have got severe migraine headache and severe headache. The Lord is healing you. And somebody who has got pain on your ankle of your hand, your, your joint pain, you are not able to bend your hands like this, but you are healed right now. The Lord is healing so many people as you recite the Holy Rosary. Let us recite the third decade of the Holy Rosary. Jesus is crowned with thorns. Let us contemplate in this mystery how the soldiers plated a crown of sharp thorns and most cruelly pressed it on the sacred head of our Lord Jesus Christ. In this mystery, let us pray for all those who are having serious sicknesses in their body, any kind of sicknesses, any uh, those who are suffering from cancer, those who are suffering from AIDS, those who are suffering from COVID-19, those who are suffering from dialysis problem and kidney problems. And let us offer all those people, all of them, let us pray for them as we recite this third decade of the Holy Rosary. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do not let us fall into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in his now, now and at the draw for death. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother, Mother of God, pray for, for us sinners. Now and at the draw for, for death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray for, for us sinners. Now, now and at the draw for death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this. Now, now and at the draw for death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this. Now, now and draw for, for death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God pray for us in this. Now, now and draw for, for death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God, pray for us in this. Now, now and the draw for death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this. Now, now and the draw for death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this. Now, now and the draw for death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners. Now, now and the draw for, for death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As, As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without an Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fire of hell. 
Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need of your mercy. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Vincent de Paul, pray for us. Saint Thomas, pray for us. Saint Augustine of England, pray for us. The fourth sorrowful mystery: Jesus carries the cross. Let us contemplate in this mystery how our Lord Jesus Christ, being sentenced to die, bore with the most amazing patience the cross which was laid upon him for his greater torment and ignominy. In this mystery, let us pray for all the parishes and parish priest bishops. And let us also pray for our, our Pope Francis. Let us pray for all the parishes which are open during these times of crisis and where the protocol is established to receive the Holy Communion, go for Mass and attend the service. We pray for all those churches and parish priests and all those uh, in institutions. Let us pray for them. Let us also pray for those places where the Holy Mass is not approachable and not accessible. And let us pray for all those who are lacking the Holy Eucharist and confession and sacraments. Let us pray for them in a special way. Let us also pray for those places, countries where the freedom of religion is not permitted and the persecutions are taking place, Christian persecutions are taking place in many places especially in Middle East and, and China and other places. Let us pray for all those countries. They let there be peace and let there be joy and let there be the freedom to express and proclaim their faith. Let us pray together this fourth decade of the Holy Rosary. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, bread and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do not let us fall into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you amongst all women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you amongst all women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you amongst all women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among so women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among so women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among so women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among so women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among so women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among so women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among so women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among so women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was, the beginning is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fire of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need of your mercy. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Vincent de Paul, pray for us. Saint Augustine of England, pray for us. The fifth sorrowful mystery, the crucifixion of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us contemplate in this mystery how our Lord Jesus Christ 
was stripped of his clothes and how his hands and feet were most cruelly nailed to the cross on which he died in the presence of his most afflicted mother. In this mystery, let us pray for all those who are not controlling their tongue, those families where there is small, small arguments and every day there is fight and sh shouting at each other, disunity and separation, anger, irritation, unforgiveness against their own family members. Let us also pray for all, this, uh, all the families, marital relationships, which are at stake. Let us pray for all those couples who are going through separation and divorce uh, process and also those who are having the spirit of doubt against the life partner. Let us pray for uh, peace and joy and unity in every family through the intercession of the Holy Family. And let us pray in a special way so that let everyone be blessed and anointed and let every family be united once again. Let us pray for this intention. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, bread and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. us. Do not let us fall into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now, now and the of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God pray for us in his. Now, now and the of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in his. Now, now and draw for, for death. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners. Now, now and draw for, for death. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners. Now, now and the of for death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners. Now, now and the of for death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners. Now, now and the of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God, pray for us in his. Now, now and the of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us in his. Now, now and the of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us in his. Now, now and the of our death. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As, As it was, was the, the beginning, beginning is now, and ever shall be, world will thought in Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fire of hell, lead all souls to heaven especially those who are most in need of your mercy. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, Saint Joseph, Saint Vincent de Paul, Saint Augustine of England. My dear brothers and sisters, let us all stretch out your hand towards the Blessed Sacrament. In this coming, the moments of adoration, we are going to adore and worship our Lord Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament. He is going to anoint you. We are going to pray for the precious blood of Jesus. The holy blood of Jesus is going to be sprinkled upon every one of you. Thirst and pray. He will never disappoint you. He is there wherever you are right now. The Lord is touching you. The Lord is anointing everybody right now. Feel the anointing. Feel the power. Let the holy blood be sprinkled upon every family, every heart, every body right now. In Jesus' name. We pray for this intention. Let us continue singing together, Holy Blood. Blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, gushing forth from your holy wounds. Purify me, satisfy me.
the blessed sacrament the lord is blessing everybody right now he's anointing you
touching you now. The Lord is anointing you right now. He is setting you free. He is giving you mighty deliverance and healings now in Jesus' name. Close your eyes and keep your hands on your heart. Abba, Abba Father, we thank you. We can feel your presence here now. Thank you for shedding the blood of Jesus upon us right now. Abba, we can feel your power. We can feel your anointing in your in our body right now. You are covering us. You are wiping away the tears from our eyes right now, Abba. Abba, we feel your presence right now covering our whole body. Thank you for every blessing. Come to everyone right now. Touch every family. Touch every broken hearted. Heal every child of God right now. Abba Father. blessing you right now. Somebody who has got chest pain, the Lord is healing you. Someone who has got severe problem in the stomach, the Lord is healing you. Somebody who has got kidney related problem and extreme pain, uh, kidney stone related problem, the Lord is healing you right now. Somebody who has got tonsillitis problem and pain and there is swelling, the Lord is healing you right now. Shiba, the Lord is blessing you right now. The power of God is coming, coming to everybody right now. Bertha, the Lord is blessing you. Marita, the Lord is blessing you right now. Shabalaba Hora Bahari Yaradri Rudri. Shabalaba Hora Bahara Bandhora Bush. Augustine, the Lord is blessing you right now. Romeo, the Lord is blessing you right now. Joy, the Lord is blessing you right now. The Lord is anointing you. And Sina, the Lord is blessing you right now. Carol, the Lord is blessing you right now. Anointing everybody. The power of God is coming to every child of God. You can experience the touch of Jesus in your body. Holy blood. Thank you, Jesus. Holy blood. Holy blood. Stretch out your hand towards the blessed sacrament. Everybody sing together. Holy blood. Holy Top of your voice.
towards the blessed sacrament you have paid the price of me he's cleansing you right now the price of your holy love. close your eyes and feel the presence of jesus abba father we thank you thank you for touching us right now Fabi the Lord is blessing you Somebody who has got pain on your one side of your head and there is a wound in your head the Lord is healing you Somebody who is suffering from a epileptic attack the Lord is healing you right now Somebody who has got lower abdomen pain, the Lord is healing you right now. Somebody, you are not able to, the urine, 
urination is not taking place there is some problem in your kidney the lord is healing you right now a covid 19 patient who is seriously affected with your breathing problem lungs are disorder the lord is healing you right now you are attending this service govind lord is blessing you right now raja lakshmi the lord is blessing you right now barbara the lord is blessing you koni the lord is blessing you right now rita lord is blessing you right now musuku the lord is blessing you right now Somebody who has got severe back pain the Lord is healing you right now Somebody are the Lord is Purify my heart purify my body purify my whole body with your precious blood right now in Jesus name The Lord is touching every child of God right now. You can experience the precious blood of Jesus is purifying everybody right now.
Brothers and sisters, the Lord is anointing you right now. You can feel the power. You can feel the anointing in your whole body. The Spirit of God is moving among you right now. You can feel it. You can feel the power of the Holy Spirit in your body now. He is touching you right now. He is setting everybody free right now in Jesus' name. He is consoling you, wiping away the tears from your eyes. You can feel the power. Abba, have mercy on this whole world. Have mercy on every broken heart. Have mercy on everyone who is crying right now. There are so many people who are shedding tears and crying right now. The Lord is consoling everybody right now. You can feel the consolation from our Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. He is touching you right now. He is coming closer to you. He is standing next to you. He is hugging you right now. You can feel the embrace of our Lord Jesus. Abba, have mercy on the whole world, Lord. Lord is healing some people have got serious spondylosis, neck pain. The Lord is healing you. You are really struggling. Some of you are also using belt around your neck. The Lord is healing you right now. The collar uh, the, uh, that, that you are using, the Lord is removing it right now. Somebody who has got a problem with in your nose, bridge of your nose the Lord is healing you something is blocking something is growing inside of your nose the Lord is healing you right now somebody who has got serious throat infection the Lord is healing you somebody who is waiting for healing you are suffering from cancer the cancer sickness you are struggling and praying for the Lord is healing you somebody who has got a growth inside of your eyes in your eyes you are waiting for an operation the Lord is healing you right now somebody who has got a, a hole in your backbone the Lord is healing you right now a hole in your backbone the Lord is healing you somebody who is suffering from fibroid related problems the Lord is healing your uterus the Lord is blessing you right now and saints are in the city for you right now. Oh Jesus, purify our heart, body, mind and soul. Everybody worship together, singing together, using the gift of tongue.
close your eyes and pray there is somebody here somebody somebody in your family who is uh, uh, trying your best to remove mobile phone from your son who is addicted to games and many other things each every time you see you throw the mobile away from that son the lord says that is not the solution you need to pray you need to start family prayer you need to kneel down and pray you need to ask forgiveness on behalf of you and your children the lord will bless your family somebody who has got uncontrollable sweating in your whole body the lord is healing you right now somebody who has got losing balance and you have some uh, balance losing balance problem the lord is healing you right now somebody's marriage was fixed and everything was ready but the last moment it got cancelled you are so depressed and angry and irritated and disturbed the lord says it is for your better the lord will turn everything into good don't worry is is there anything impossible for me the lord says lovely the lord is blessing you veena the lord is blessing veena the lord is blessing you somebody who is experiencing a touch of the lord in your shoulder you are experiencing as if the lord is coming and touching your shoulder you even turn back looking searching for somebody who is touching you somebody was got skin allergy irritation and itching on your hands itching on your hands the lord is healing you right now the lord is blessing an artist who the lord is giving inspiration to uh draw some pictures of our lord jesus and mother mary there are some young girls and boys who are sitting together and watching and, and uh, who is uh, participating in this adoration singing together because you started your prayer for a long time you are praying together now today you are here in you are in front of the tv or uh, social media and worshiping together along with this music, uh, along with this worship you are sitting together and worshiping the lord is blessing you the lord is going to use you mightily the lord is going to use you powerfully total trust and total surrender is expected from you the lord says a nurse who is listening to this worship even when you are so busy you are trying your best to listen in between the lord is blessing you right now somebody who has got a severe weakness on your both legs the lord is healing you right now both legs are healed strengthened right now in jesus name a mother who is praying for your twin children twins you are praying for your twins the lord is blessing that twins children somebody who has got pain in your liver the lord is healing you right now some problem in your liver the lord is healing you right now praise to jesus a hallelujah a hallelujah thank you jesus praise to jesus a hallelujah a hallelujah a hallelujah thank you jesus praise to jesus a hallelujah my dear brothers and sisters let us read this psalm psalm 121 let us read this word of god psalm 121 we read like this everybody repeat after me i lift up my eyes to the hills i lift, lift up, up my eyes, eyes to the hills. hills from where will my help come from, from where, where will, will my, my help, help come? come 
my help comes from the lord my help, my help comes, comes from, from the, the lord. lord who made heaven and earth who, who made, made heaven, heaven and earth, earth. He will not let your foot be moved. He will not let your foot be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. He who keeps you will not slumber. He who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. He who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day. The sun shall not strike you by day. Nor the moon by night. Nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. He will keep your life. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in. The Lord will keep your going out and coming in from this time on and forevermore from this time on and forevermore the Lord is healing somebody who has got severe pain in your ears the Lord is healing you again the Lord is healing somebody who has got lower abdomen pain the Lord is healing you somebody who came to know that you were you are a victim of abortion your parents tried to abort you but was not successful and you were born and now when you came to know all these things you could not accept it the lord is removing this pain from your heart this hurt from your heart he is consoling you and he say i am your god and i protected you i am the lord who protected you i will never I'll forget you the lord is telling you right now the lord is healing so many people who are going through loneliness Right now some people who are participating in this adoration alone in your room and you are with so much of loneliness and pain the lord says i am with you always we read jeremiah 23 23 jeremiah 23 23 let us read jeremiah 23 23 we read like this am i a god nearby Am I a god nearby? Says the Lord. Says the Lord. And not a god far off. And not a god far off. Who can hide in secret places? Who can hide in secret places? So that I cannot see them. So that I cannot see them. Says the Lord. Says the Lord. Do I not fill heaven and earth? Do I not fill heaven and earth? Says the Lord. Says the Lord. Who can hide in secret places? Who can hide in secret places? So that I cannot see them. So that I cannot see them. Says the Lord. Says the Lord. Do I not fill heaven and earth? Do I not fill heaven and earth? Says the Lord. Says the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters the Lord is there next to you all those who are feeling lonely he will never abandon you he will never forget you gospel of john chapter 14 verse 18 gospel of john chapter 14 18 read i will not leave you orphaned i will not leave you orphaned i am coming to you i am coming to you i will not leave you orphaned i will not leave you i am coming to you i am coming to you i will not leave you orphaned i will not leave you orphaned i am coming to you i am coming to you i will not leave you orphaned i will not leave you orphaned i am coming to you 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 the lord is telling you right now i'm coming to you believe it's a very powerful strength i'm coming to you i'm coming to you my dear brothers and sisters the more you repeat i am coming to you i'm coming to you you feel strengthened you feel set free you feel delivered he will never leave you alone my dear brothers and sisters let us worship together let us all stretch out your hand towards the blessed sacrament and sing together he is here right now he will never abandon you he will never forsake you he will never leave you alone he is coming to you right now i will never forget you my people consoling you strengthening you right now i will never forget you cloudy 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is blessing you. Catherine, the Lord is blessing you. Amisha, the Lord is blessing you. Karen, the Lord is blessing you right now. Subash, the Lord is blessing you. We know the Lord is blessing you right now. Shout your hand towards the blessed sacrament and sing together. Let's look at the blessed sacrament and sing together.
brothers and sisters we are going to pray for healing right now stretch out your right hand towards the blessed sacrament and keep your left hand on your body part where you got sickness the lord is healing you right now someone who has got severe shoulder pain the lord is healing you somebody has got a blood related problem you are getting your blood clotted and you are taking medicine for that the lord is healing you completely and you are able to uh, um, continue there are without any problem the lord is healing you right now somebody who has got serious memory loss the lord is healing you stretch out your right hand towards the blessed sacrament left hand left hand on your body part where you got sickness the lord is healing somebody who has got severe problem in your kidney the lord is healing you right now somebody who has got white patches in your skin the lord is healing you right now somebody who is suffering from leprosy kind of thing in your leg the lord is healing you right now no sensation on your uh, feet the lord is healing you you are getting that sensation back somebody who has got numbness in your leg and you are waiting for an operation the lord is healing you right now adam the lord is blessing you right now nick the lord is nikki the lord is blessing you right now is there the lord is blessing you somebody is in the wheelchair always in the wheelchair the lord is asking you to get up in the name of jesus the lord is strengthening your weak legs and hands in every part of your body the lord is healing you abba somebody who is not able to speak properly you are not able to pronounce the words properly a child who is not able to pronounce the words properly you are speaking difficulty the lord is healing that child right now thomas the lord is healing you right now thank you father thank you jesus thank you holy spirit right now the lord is blessing and healing so many people let us pray for the infilling of the holy spirit let us pray for some powerful and anointing of the holy spirit upon your family your whole family is going to be anointed right now somebody who has got gastric problem severe acidity problem gastric problem in your stomach and you are struggling the lord is healing you right now sometimes you get severe pain chest pain too the lord is healing you right now everybody pray for the anointing of the holy spirit let the holy spirit come upon every family let the whole house and every one every house and every part of the house be anointed by the power of the holy spirit let's pray in a powerful way the lord is going to anoint every child of god with the power of the holy spirit you're going to experience the anointing of the holy spirit sing together the lord is healing somebody who has got pain on your back of your head the lord is healing you right now somebody who is struggling to go to the school and you're not able to go to school your child the lord is blessing that child right now shubula bahara bahura bahari aradri 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 let your fire fall on me oh spirit of god fall fall on me spirit fall on me let your fire fall on me oh spirit of god fall fall on me spirit fall on me i pray you rain down down rain down rain on me rain down rain down
Let's close our eyes and look at the blessed sacrament. Thank you. Stretch out your hand towards the blessed sacrament and speak to him. Our Eucharist, our Lord Jesus is here now standing in front of you. Speak to him. Whatever he wants you to, you wants to tell him, tell him right now. I'm going to read out some of the testimonies of healing and blessing people have received. Meanwhile, you can offer up your pain, your intentions, your prayers, everything to Jesus looking at the blessed sacrament. This is a testimony. I am Melissa and all of a sudden I became lactose intolerant. During the adoration I used to pray and one day it was announced that someone with milk intolerance is being healed and quickly I claimed it for myself. Slowly I started testing with a spoonful of milk products. All thanks to Jesus, I am no more lactose intolerant. I'm, also, I'm Melissa. My kids wanted a laptop, but due to the financial situation, I couldn't buy one. On the 3rd of July, it was being announced that a mother wants to buy her children a computer and God is helping them in an unknown way. My sister called the next morning saying she had opened a saving account for my kids. The money was due end of July. She wanted to buy them an electronic device. I told her they wanted a laptop. All praise the Lord. There is another testimony from Peter Gomez. Last, uh, as I was always watching the live telecast after my duty, but I missed the rosary, but still join Holy Mass every day. Last two days, I was having pain in my knee while walking and having more, more pain while climbing, more pain while climbing the steps, and the pain was increasing. Uh, each day while I was attending the mass I can't stand or sit properly because of my knee pain and while I was listening to the sermon I stand and move to search uh, kneecap uh, as it was paining once I opened my cupboard I feel like why I'm searching the kneecap now let me finish the mass first after a few minutes it was said uh, in the middle of the sermon uh, it was announced that someone having pain, right knee getting healed. And the truth is my knee got healed. I walked without pain and I don't have any pain now. And I declare undoubtedly I got that healing. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Um, and this is the third healing I got online. And this is the best experience of my life. Already sent one testimony before. Thank you, Jesus. This is a testimony from Peter Gomez. There is another testimony from Mrs. Remy Coutinho. Uh, I am very sorry for the delay of my testimonies. On the second, of, second day of Pentecost, I was vomiting and I was unconscious. I saw a vision very pleasant. When I came into my senses, I heard my children were screaming. They told me sleep and I was sad because uh, I couldn't attend the retreat. My granddaughter, Walanga, brought the computer table near my bed and I attended the holy adoration lying on the bed. And after the adoration, I felt better. And then I was sitting and attending the Holy Eucharistic celebration. After the Mass, for the final blessing, it was announced that someone, one lady was lying on bed, was praying. Now she is sitting and praying. I claimed it for me. On the same day, I dreamt that Jesus was coming towards me with the Holy Eucharist. So I am also healed with the toothache. My elder brother was sick and was admitted in the government hospital. He was refused by a private hospital for breathing problem. I had sent a petition for him. Soon he was healed and discharged from the hospital. On 4th of August, it was announced that a person is healed below the knees. I had a swelling below the knees and it was painful for me. That moment I claimed it for me and I got healed. My gifts of tongue has become more powerful than before. These are the healing testimonies of one person. Praise the Lord. Uh, hallelujah. hallelujah. There is another testimony. My name is Stella Loden from India. My son Farrell lost his job and due to the lockdown, he was not getting any job. I joined worship and prayer service online. Within, within one month, God has blessed him with a very good job. The Lord has blessed. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. There is a testimony from Clevina Dilza. I was having left wrist pain since very long time. Doctor had given three options. One medicine, second injection on the vein a third surgery with medicines there was no difference after hearing the second advice stopped going to the doctor i started praying sudden uh, surrendered on 5th of august it was announced 
that and uh, in the during the adoration and i claimed it lord has blessed and healed me completely praise the lord praise the lord i am k jude shegar from chennai a retired forest officer blessed with three daughters today 7th august is the birthday of my first daughter irene pradiba we see your adoration praise and worship program in the um, in the morning of the following day since june we thank and praise the lord for the very first message on 6th uh, august the message was irene god is blessing you your problems with your husband your children and your workplace are cleared and her husband my son in law was left her and he is staying with his parents he stopped talking to her and now 14 and um, there in the school and this blessing right on her birthday has brought uh, brought great joy and peace to all of us we are also struggling with financial crisis in our retired life we thank for the uh, blessings the lord has given us praise the lord lord there is another testimony i am lurina from swinton during the time of adoration i was praying and i need some material things for my new home at that very moment father announced somebody is praying and god will provide you material things for your home and it was locked down all shops were closed even in the uncertain time god provided all the things needed praise the lord Lord. I am Susan Kabiru from Nakuru, Kenya. I have attended the daily retreats. I had a severe back ache for the last six years after delivery. I couldn't do heavy work for or even bend, but now I am healed for the last two weeks. I don't know until I realize I can bend and do work without any back pain. I am healed completely and I was surprised. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And uh, there is a testimony. I am Andrews Paul from Virar. I was being healed when it was prayed. Someone with uh, toothache and gum bleeding pain was being healed. And at the same time, I got the healing. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Uh, hallelujah. hallelujah. My dear brothers and sisters, there are so many blessings and healings the Lord has given us and He's blessing us right now. So right now, uh, we would like to my dear brothers and sisters we would like to thank all of you for praying for the divinity center you are praying uh, reciting psalms yesterday so for tomorrow's homework please recite another some psalms psalm 129 to 134 129 130 131 132 and 133 and 134 six psalms 129 to 134 all together it is only two pages only two pages of the bible please pray with lots of devotion and love recite this psalm singing or whatever if anybody is good in uh, writing songs writing hymns you are most welcome as you are reading if you are inspired to write some hymns and prepare write very, uh, hymns from these psalms and beautiful hymns and send it to us praise the lord uh, hallelujah. hallelujah and my dear brothers and sisters and uh, please do, do repeat the psalm 129 to 134 please don't forget please do pray for the divinity center for the various intentions of the divinity center for the ministry of this live streaming and all the other ministries that is attached to the divinity center and all the team members volunteers everyone who is working hard here pray for all of them now we are going to receive the blessing of the blessed sacrament meanwhile let me remind you about the deliverance retreat that we are going to have end of this month three days of deliverance retreat inform your friends and family members the poster will be sent to you these days and uh, inform your fam family members and friends and everyone and share with all your friends and help everyone to join all those who are participating in this deliverance retreat please make sure to go through fasting do fasting uh, maybe a, a seven fastings different occasions uh, i have explained to you many times how do we do fasting maybe you can avoid complete meal all the meals or maybe avoid one meal or take only one meal or if you are sick and not well then you can avoid certain items of your food uh, chocolate sweets or maybe some um, uh, meat or something you can do some sacrifices like this this all will be considered as one fasting so please do uh, seven fasting minimum and prepare for uh, this deliverance retreat 
you all will be blessed in a special way and uh, this is for you and your whole family to be set free completely from all the bondages that are affecting and please pray for the divinity center now let's all kneel down receive the blessing when we receive the blessing today we will keep silence just uh, bow down in front of the lord when you ring uh, hear the ring, uh, bell ringing you just bow down in the presence of god and uh, thank uh, receive the blessing of the blessed sacrament the lord is blessing you right now For, as we prepare ourselves for the Holy Eucharist, let us pray for Father Anthony as he is going to prepare, celebrate the Holy Eucharist for all of you. And let us offer all our intentions on this altar as we celebrate and sing together the entrance hymn. God is good all the time all the time God is good Today we in a very special way pray for our bishop Mar Joseph Srambikel who started the perpetual adoration here since we started the live stream and bishop Joseph Srambikel is celebrating his birthday today let's gratefully pray for him for his welfare for all his duty as the bishop of the Syro-Malabar Party of Great Britain. 
let's be grateful to our shepherd let's also pray for him pray for all his welfare as we put his intentions on this eucharist we also have the memorial of saint clare today and we are asking saint clare to pray for us in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god the communion of the holy spirit be with you all and with your spirit Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. So let's kneel down, keep our hands open, let's plead for God's mercy. Oh, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who in your mercy led St. Clare to a love of poverty, grant through her intercession that following Christ in poverty of spirit, we may merit to contemplate you one day in the heavenly kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Kindly be seated. A first reading, a reading from the letter St. Paul's to the Philippians. I believe nothing can happen that will outweigh the supreme adventure, adven, advent, advantage of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord. For him I accepted the loss of everything, and I look on everything as much rubbish if only I can have Christ and be given a place in him. I am no longer trying to perfect, perfect by my own efforts, the perfection that comes from the law, but I want only the perfection that comes through faith in Christ and is from God and is based on faith. And all I want is to know Christ and the power of his resurrection and to share his suffering by reproducing the pattern of his death. That is the way I can hope to take my place in the resurrection of the dead. Note that I have become perfectly yet. Note that I have become perfect yet. I have not yet won, but I am still running, trying to capture the prize for which Christ Jesus has captured me. I can assure you, my brothers, I am far from thinking that I have already won. All I can say is that I forgot the past and I strain ahead for what is still what is still to come. I am resting for the finishing, for the prize to which God calls us upwards to receive in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Be to
Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 18, verses from 1. At this time the disciples came to Jesus and said, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? So he called a little child to him and set the child in front of them. Then he said, I tell you solemnly, unless you change and become like little children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. And so the one who makes himself as little as this little child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Anyone who welcomes a little child like this in my name welcomes me. See that you never despise any of these little ones, for I tell you that their angels in heaven are continually in the presence of my Father in heaven. Tell me, suppose a man has a hundred sheep and one of them strays. Will he not leave the ninety-nine on the hillside and go in search of the stray? I tell you solemnly, if he finds it, it gives him more joy than do the ninety-nine that did not stray at all. Similarly, it is never the will of your Father in heaven that one of these little ones should be lost. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. God is good all, all the, the time. time. All the time. God is good. Today we have the solemn feast of the memorial of Saint Claire. Saint Claire was born in Assisi in Italy and she became a disciple of Saint Francis and she founded the order of the poor Claires and she lived her whole life in radical poverty in the convent of San Damiano. She led her nuns 40 years giving good counsel and leading them to holiness. When she died in 1253, just in two years, she, were, she was canonized just after two years of her death. So today, if anyone is called Claire, Claire or Clara or all the Claritians or all those who are taking the name of Claire, we wish you a very happy feast. Let her protection, let her intercession, let her prayers support you wherever you are. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Today we have just read in the Gospel of Matthew chapter 18 verse 10, which is one of the most important scriptures and we are going to preach about the content of this scripture. Take care that you do not despise one of these little ones, for I tell you, in heaven, their angels continually see the face of my Father in heaven. That means there are angels appointed for each and every one of us. Praise the Lord. So today I just want to tell you about angels. As somebody has written an email to me, Father, can you talk something about the angels? And now... Based on the Holy Scripture, certain practical incidents will share with you regarding angels and their role, their duties. We have to know the angels are, this is Hebrews chapter 1 verse 14. Who are the angels? The angels are the soldiers of God, the servants of God, the ministers of God. They are in the house of the Lord. They are always in obedience to what God says. Let's repeat this word of God together. Are not all, all angels, angels spirits in the, the divine, divine service sent to serve for the sake of, of those who are to, to inherit, inherit salvation? Remember, we believe in angels. When we say the Apostles' Creed, Heavenly Father means we believe in the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. When we say heaven, Angels are included. We believe in heaven means we believe in angels. Again, we say we believe in God, the creator of visible and invisible things. The invisible things, the invisible people include the angels. That means one of our Catholic faith is all about angels. The, 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 uh, the Catholic, uh, even the catechism of the Catholic Church talks about angels. And these angels are the soldiers of God. We all have guardian angels. According to Saint Thomas Aquinas, 
when a woman gets pregnant a pregnant woman gets a new angel for the protection of an unborn baby in the womb that means a pregnant woman gets an additional angel for her protection that means how much care the lord is giving to a human soul the angels have been appointed to protect them to take care of them so the so we can always seek the intercession the support of angels and one day i met a person he is a pers- he is a very prayerful lay minister he told me about angels and he told me he is the one who taught me father you know we we have there are nine choirs of angels and these nine choirs are called choirs of seraphim cherubim thrones powers dominions virtues principalities archangels and angels and these are the nine choirs of angels they are in heaven the angels are so many they are like the stars of the sky which we cannot count but god can count people say that we cannot and also we should know the angels are higher than us so we cannot name the angel god has given names to angels so every angel has name given by god that means they are under god angels are not under human beings they are under god appointed by god and even in the book of revelation we read this is revelation chapter 8 verse 2 book of revelation chapter 8 verse 2 we read then i saw the seven angels who stand before god and seven trumpets were given to them seven angels with the seven trumpets trumpets found in heaven again verse 6 we read revelation chapter 8 verse 6 we read now the seven angels who had the seven trumpets made ready to blow them who are these seven angels and what do they do sisters and brothers these seven angels are the seven archangels and we just know the names of three of them who are their children say saint michael saint gabriel saint raphael apart from them there are four more archangels we have only known about three archangels michael gabriel and raphael there are four more archangels according to the book of revelation according to the bible and who are they they are uriel siltiel jehudiel and barakiel there are seven archangels these angels are michael gabriel raphael uriel siltiel jehudiel and barakiel and what do they do how do they help us and these seven archangels help us to fight against seven cardinal sins cardinal sins does not mean the sins committed by cardinals deadly sins and these angels help us assist us to fight against seven cardinal sins these are the seven archangels so you can ask these angels to help you pray for you to get out of this for example saint michael helps you to get out of the sin of the deadly cardinal sin of pride saint gabriel helps you to get out of greed saint raphael help you to get out of lust saint uriel helps you to get out of anger saint siltiel helps you to get out of gluttony saint barakiel helps you to get out of sloth saint jehudiel helps you to get out of envy remember if these angels are spirit beings all these are we we know in spirituality we call it spirit of pride it's not just that it is an abstract idea it's a spirit of lust that's why you are attacked and you can't attack that's why you have given the weapons you are given helpers and these angels are sent to you to help you to support you to stay with you that's why you have to ask 
saint michael please help me to overcome the spirit of to defeat the spirit of pride saint gabriel help me to fight against the spirit of greed saint raphael helps me to fight against the spirit of lust saint uriel help me to fight against the spirit of anger saint siltiel help me to fight against the spirit of gluttony saint barakiel helps me to get out of the spirit of sloth saint jehudiel helps me to get out of the spirit of envy if you check michael gabriel raphael it's all ends with el 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 means of god of god so how do you immediately understand because we know there are fallen angels so all these rebel angels the demons were once upon a time they were angels and they have fallen away the easy way not generally not always but generally to know how an angel is of god who rep represents god most probably his name ends with yel michael gabriel raphael uriel siltiel jehudiel barakiel urifiel lechitiel abrigiel jeremiel miriel these are angels sisters and brothers these angels are there to help us so when i came to know about these angels i was so surprised and i asked this lay person who was very prayerful he i asked him do you know why we are been we don't know about these angels there were people who are using bad angels thinking they are good angels there are some kind of esotericism and they they consider these angels can give good fortunes to them never believe that because angels are always under obedience they cannot do anything without god's permission remember without god's permission so how and when you will be able to know about angels it's only when you have given your life totally to god otherwise you will not get revelation about angels because they are spirit beings they are lower than god they are not god so once you come to know about their tremendous power you will have a tendency to worship them you have a tendency to give your life to them god does not approve it even good angels will not approve it as we read it's important to read book of tobit it's a beautiful book that describes about the work of angels especially angel raphael who helped to get married who helped to solve the financial difficulty of tobit and tobias helped sara to find tobias her husband remember angels can help you this is tobit chapter 12 we are going to read from 12 listen carefully let's look on to the screen let's read about the work of angels how do they work how do they help you how do they guide you we read from 12 read with me so now when you and sara prayed it was i who brought and read the record of your prayer before the glory of the lord now we have to go back and read this is tobit this is book of tobit chapter 3 verse 17 now there are two people who are praying one is tobit because he lost his eyes he had no money at as if he was affected by a pandemic he lost his eyesight worse than corona virus because corona virus is not so dangerous tobit was so much affected and now he cannot see anything and he had some people who are supposed to give him money back now he can't even travel now he has only one son called tobias now tobit started to pray he cried and he prayed lord i need my eyesight i need my son to be a blessing i need the money to get back he is praying and at the same time there was another person who was crying and praying this is called sara she lost many husbands she cannot get married and people started to curse her telling you are a curse you are killing people so in this struggle when tobit and sara they both prayed what happened listen read together when they cried their tears reached the sky reached heaven reached god so Raphael was sent to heal both of them. 
Tobit by removing the white films from his eyes so that he might see God's light with his eyes and Sarah daughter of Reguel by giving her in marriage to Tobias son of Tobit and by setting her free from the wicked demon Asmodeus for Tobias was entitled to have her before all others who had desired to marry her at the same time that Tobit returned from the courtyard into his house Sara daughter of Reguel came down from her upper room sisters and brothers they are both praying so Raphael is been sent to pray to help Tobit and Tobias and Sara and what are these angels do if we just check you will understand the first thing that healing Raphael is an angel who helps you to get healing he's bringing healing to Tobit and he helps them to get to solve the issue of money they had financial problem Raphael angel Raphael helped Tobit to recover the money that he sent with somebody that he had already kept with somebody then Raphael is helping Sara to get married and Raphael is helping Tobias to defeat the demon sisters and brothers so the angel gives you protection guidance and Raphael is traveling with them as if a human person as if a friend they could not know until all the problems are solved and we read now this is uh, we go to chapter 12 from uh, let's read so now when you and sarah prayed it was i who brought and read the record of your prayer before the glory of the lord so when you pray your prayer the record whatever you pray is been taken up to heaven by whom by angels so when you pray remember these angels are wherever you go they always accompany you they are always with you they are always with the god because they have no limitation of time and space they are with you they are with the god they are always giving report that's why the book of baruch chapter 6 verse 7 we read baruch chapter 6 verse 7 for repeat with me three times together for, for my, my angel, angel is with you and he is watching over your lives for my angel is with you and he is watching over my your lives for my angel is with you and he is watching over your lives as if in in the language of today an angel is a 24 hour cctv an angel represents a 24 hour cctv everything is recorded everything is noticed everything is been reported this is the duty and the obligation of the angel because they are the army of god they are the soldiers of god they are the servants of god with the full of love full of obedience and that's why angel raphael let's continue we go back to tobit chapter this is 12 from 12 we read together we read with me so now when you and sara prayed it was i who brought and read the record of your prayer before the glory of the lord and likewise whenever you would bury the dead every action is be noticed continue now that time when you did not hesitate to get up and leave your dinner to go and bury the dead I, I was, was sent, sent to you to, to test you, you and at the same, same time God sent me to heal you and Sarah your daughter in law I, I am Raphael one of the seven angels who stand ready and enter before, before the glory of the Lord. Lord remember I am one of the seven angels we have already told you the names of seven angels who stand ready and enter before the glory of the lord they are in the glory of god they are in the presence of the lord they are representing you in the mighty holiness of the lord verse 16 we continue to read you will understand the basic things about angels from this book the two, two of, of them, them were shaken. shaken who are these two of them tobias and sara this is what the, when the angel is telling they fell face yes. down for they were afraid yes. then we read 17 17 but he said to them 
do not be afraid peace be with you bless god forevermore remember when they came to know the power of raphael they saw it is as if god they bowed and the angel is saying no you do should not be afraid you should not worship me i'm only a servant so if a servant is as powerful as raphael what about the almighty god so the angels according to saint augustine and all the say all the church fathers the angels reveal the glory of god the power of god the majesty of god the unlimited grace of god and we read verse 18 together you can read with me as, as for me, me when, when i was, I was with, with you i was, I was not acting on my own, own will, will but, but by, by the, the will, will of god, god bless him each and every day sing his praises the angel what does the angel is telling let's repeat this word of god once again let it sing inside you the angels cannot work on themselves only demons do that god's angels cannot do anything on their own they are always in obedience together with me as, as for, for me, me when, when i was, was with you i was not acting on my own will but by the will of god bless him each and every day sing his praises the angels are always reminding us to praise god worship god bless god bring glory to god they are happy when we worship god say so they join the worship because that's their duty that's what they do that's what they rejoice not in uh, honoring themselves then we read verse 19 although, although you were watching, watching me i really did, did not eat or drink, drink anything, anything but, but what, what you, you saw, saw was, was a vision. vision remember he they could not understand what rafael is doing rafael as an angel he is a spirit being angels are spirit beings they don't have a physical form they don't have flesh I have read this story in the book of Saint Padre Pio. He had great love, great communion, great communication with angels. So he used his guardian angels to communicate with his clients, with the people who wanted support. So he used to write letters, he used to reply to prayer requests, many requests. He used to use the guardian angels and he used to even speak to them. one of the incident is like this one day saint padre pio was he was also been attacked by demons because he was a powerful saint even while he was alive he had the gift of reading the minds of others one day as padre pio was praying he was been horribly attacked by demons demons hit him and blood came out of his mouth because he was hit by demons at the same time padre pio could see his guardian angels standing up there smiling at him he has been beaten up he is bleeding and the angel is smiling padre pio became very upset and he told are you my real guardian angel why are you uh, laughing i am in pain and you are in smile how can you do that why are you not coming and help me then this angel told padre pio like this pio you have the privilege to suffer in your body for Christ but me i have no body i cannot suffer i cannot bring glory to god through suffering you have that glory because you have a flesh so rejoice because you can suffer for Christ padre pio has recorded in his book we read the same truth in hebrews this is chapter 2 from 14 we read the privilege that the human beings have sisters and brothers since therefore the children share flesh and blood he himself likewise shared the same things so that through death he might destroy the one who has the power of death that is the devil remember jesus became not an angel he became a human so the human beings are more privileged than angels because human beings are created in the image and likeness of god the angels are different they are spirit beings then we read verse 15 and we should know and free those who all their lives were held in slavery by the fear of death then verse 16 we read that means jesus became a human for it is clear that repeat with me for it, for it is, is clear, clear that, that he did, did not, not come, come to, to help, help angels, angels. But, but the, the descendants, descendants of Abraham. Abraham so the human beings there are people who say uh, we will become you know after we die we will become like angels 
we will become angels after our death we will become angels no that is wrong angels are of a different species different category you can become like an angel but you can never become an angel the angels can never become human beings but he can take the form of a human being they are different species we are different species they are sent to help us they are sent to protect us they are sent to fight for us they are sent to defend us guard us guide us we go back to tobit chapter 12 from 19 once again this is about what does the angels do angel raphael is telling although oh, you are watching me i really did not eat yes. or drink anything but what you saw was a vision then was 20 we read so, so now get, get up, up from the ground, the ground and, and acknowledge god, god. See, see i am ascending, ascending to him who sent me write down all these things that, that have happened to you, to you. and he ascended, ascended. he is telling to tobias write down that's why the book of tobit has come then again we read verse 21 then they stood up and could see him no more he is sent to do a duty once he is established he disappears so so angels can help you to write if you are on a writing a book if you are writing anything angels can help you inspire you you can ask them See, even the book of Revelation is written, Revelation chapter 1 verse 1, how did Saint John got all the revelations? An angel came to him and whispered into his ears. The, the revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show his servants what must soon take place, he made it known by sending his angel to his servant John. I was in Tabo Divine Retreat Center in Mumbai. So one day I was preaching. Those days I was just beginning my preaching ministry. So as I was preaching that I was, I could feel that there is no effect. People are not understanding my English. They are not getting what I am talking. So I was so upset. So I became very sad and I came to the chapel. I was very sad. Then somebody who was in the retreat, a lady, she came to the chapel where I was hiding because of my shame that why I wasted the precious time of the people without preaching exactly what God wanted because I did not get proper words in this sorrow. When I came there and sat in the chapel, this lady came and she told me, she saw a vision. The vision was this, that when while we were preaching, she saw the angels are going to different people and talking something to their ears. She could see the angels are going and talking to the people who are listening to the preaching. So I did not understand. And then she told me, Father, I could really feel that God was talking through his angels. While you are preaching, God was using you. The angels were sent by God. Then I thought, so that means the angels are really helping us while we are preaching. Sisters and brothers, because I did not get the meaning, I just asked the Lord, Lord, is it true? There are so many people who say they have this vision, that vision. How do I believe it's a true vision? It truly happens. When I opened the Bible, I got Psalm 103 verse 20. That's the time I believed that exactly it happens. This is Psalm 103 verse 20. Let's read together. Bless the Lord, O you his angels, you mighty ones who do his bidding, obedient to his spoken word. That's the time I came to know is is not based on the merit of the preacher or his eloquence. If the word of God is being preached, the angels exactly do according to the word of God. They will go and explain to the people. They will go and explain and they will interpret the real meaning of the scripture. So that's why the power of angels, they are wherever the word of God is preached, the angels have been appointed to go and explain. I had this experience while I myself was attending a retreat. A priest was preaching when I was in a crisis thinking, did Jesus call me to become a priest? I had a big crisis and a confusion. Did Jesus really call me to become a priest? 
because I was thinking of leaving. But then I heard a priest is preaching. This is Hebrews chapter 13 verse 8. He started to preach. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forever. While he was preaching, I heard an angel interpreting to my ears. Today I know it was God's angel who interpreted to me. He told me, he asked me like this, my son, why do you doubt your vocation? The one who called you yesterday is the same today, yesterday, today and forever. But... The angel added, you are not the same. You have changed. Your love for the Lord is reduced. You have become lukewarm, but the Lord is not lukewarm. He is always zealous. He never sleeps nor slumbers. The angel interpreted to me, sisters and brothers, today as you listen to this word of God, maybe you have lost that seal, but remember God has not lost his seal. He still loves you the way you are. The angels interpret this to us because they go before us. They guard us. They observe us. They are like a CCTV 24 hours in operation. Psalm 34, 7. We read, what do they do? Psalm 34, 7. This is about the angels. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. The angel of the Lord encamps around us and they deliver us. And they speak to us. Angels can speak to us. They spoke even to the apostles. We read in the Acts of the Apostles about this particular incident, 27 from 23. Angels guided them. Angels guided. For last night there stood by me an angel of God to whom I belong and whom I worship. Then verse 24. And he said, the angel said, do not be afraid, Paul. You must stand before the emperor. And indeed, God has granted safety to all those who are sailing with you, sisters and brothers. And we know as we read, continue reading, exactly as this angel had told Paul it happened. Angels are a reality. They are created by God. They are in existence and they will help us. But there is a speciality with angels. They will not forcefully help you. They are gentle. If you ask them to help you, they will help you. Because they cannot do anything forcefully. Because they are God's angels. Like God is gentle. Angels are also gentle. That is why Saint Therese of Child Jesus one day said, For many, their guardian angels are unemployed. Do you have an, an angel who is unemployed, have no job, nothing to do? You never say thank you, you never greet, you never even address is an incident in the life of Saint Therese of Child Jesus. She had a habit of thanking and praising the Lord after Holy Communion. She explains after Holy Communion 20 minutes that she has that active, the, the host as it is to just take be part of her body. She takes this minimum 20 minutes she used to praise and worship the Lord in spirit getting united with God. So after Holy Communion, one day she was praying and worshipping God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. I love you. I worship you. And St. Little Therese says, after she started to pray and praise and worship God, love God so much, she saw a vision that so many angels are surrounding her and worshipping her. Bowing their head. She got frightened. And she just told, why do you worship me? I am nothing. I am a sinner. Don't, wh why do you worship? Then these guardian angels told St. Little Therese. Because she was all alone in the church. Everybody, the moment the mass is ended, go in peace, people disappeared. St. Little Therese stayed there, praising and thanking God. While she was praising and thanking, so many guardian angels surrounded her, started worshipping. Then she was shocked and she asked, why do you worship me? You have to worship God. I'm a sinner. Then this angel said, we are not worshiping you. We are worshiping the Eucharist inside you, Christ inside you, the word made flesh, the bread of life. Because when you worship, wherever people worship, we join them because we are delighted to worship God. Then little Therese asked, but are you all my angels, my guardian angels? Then this angel said, no, 
Some of us are yours, but most of us belong to the other Christians who came to the church. They made us unemployed. They did not worship, so we joined you when you are worshiping. Remember, do you need more angels? Worship God. Even your neighbors, even so many angels will also come to help you. That does not mean the angels appointed by God will leave a person and go to other. No, until death, until they reach heaven. Because the angels are the one carry you to heaven. Angel Michael. So remember these angels are ready. They are so happy to help you. I have shared this incident in the past. How we have to pray to angels? How do we pray to angels? The angels communicate with angels. So our prayer should be, if I want to talk something to Jeremiah, I have to say, before I go and speak to him, my dear guardian angel, go and speak to the guardian angel of Jeremiah and speak to him. Convince him what I'm going to speak. If you have difficulty to learn mathematics and you don't like your mathematics teacher, send your guardian angel. Say, my dear guardian angel, go and speak to my math teacher and help her to teach me in a better way so that I understand it. It will happen because angels cannot pretend like your boyfriend or girlfriend that they have not heard. Angels are true beings. The, the truthfulness is their character. They are sincere because they always see God. They cannot hide anything from God. Praise the Lord. Praise Hallelujah. Lord. Hallelujah. Praise, the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I have an experience which I have shared in the past. This was while I was traveling in a flight. This was from Rome to Gatwick, Rome to London. So these are the, uh, the flights where you don't get meals. These are the the low cost flight. So I was flying on EasyJet from Rome to London Gatwick. I, and I was so hungry, the, the flight was early morning, I could not even eat any food and the flight was almost at 11 something. I did not have any food. I did not buy, I could buy because I thought why to waste money because it's just two hours from Rome to London Gatwick, then I have. But I became so hungry. I was on the window seat, three seats are there. The flight is almost full. So those who are booked food in advance, they get food because they bring the food packets. If not, you have to buy food. But inside the flight, the food price is double. It is too much and you don't feel like buying. I have money, but I don't want to waste money for my food. But being there, I just thought, why can't I ask my guardian angel to help me? Sometimes they feel pity and they give some kind of food. So now, because I know that something ha can happen, means they can help me. So I just started prayer like this. When the air hostess is going with the trolley with the food and she's distributing the food, some are buying. So those who are beside me, they are also trying to buy. So as they bought, I just prayed in my heart, my dear guardian angel, please speak to the guardian angel of this air hostess and Inspire her to give me some food free. My dear guardian angel, go and speak to the guardian angel of this air hostess and inspire her to give me some little food free. And she had given the food to those because I have not paid, I had not booked. She just passed with the trolley to the front row. But I did not stop, I again prayed. My dear guardian angel, Please don't forget to talk to the guardian angel of this air hostess and help her to give me some food because you know I'm very hungry. You can feel even my feelings. Then after some time, she rolled back the trolley backwards and she took a packet of a box with some food and she asked me, she looked into the seat number and she offered me the food and she told me, uh, sir, this is for you. Then I said, no, I have not paid. I have not paid money, I have not booked for food, so it is not mine. Then she said, no, it is free. Uh, somebody has booked and it is an extra food. If you want, you can take. Then I said, if it is free and I don't want to pay, give me. I got and I ate and my guardian angels smiled. They, they are not there to disturb us. When we feel hungry, they feel sad. 
the angels are real they can really help us even jesus was helped by angels we read this is gospel of matthew chapter 4 verse 11 they came to help him they came to embrace him then the devil left him and suddenly angels came and waited on him angels came and the angels are their sisters and brothers they have helped if they have helped jesus how much more they are willing to help us again luke chapter 4 verse 10 Luke chapter 4 verse 10 the help that Jesus got for it is written he will command his angels concerning you to protect you it is written this is word of god do you want the angels to protect you i have to tell you some of, i was thinking for long i only have one angel but i eventually came to know we have more so many angels not just one and all these angels have name they have a duty they have a purpose they have an identity most of the time the name also symbolizes that duty appointed by god one of my angel is called angel andrea and the duty of this angel is to give me courage because of the help of these angels who is always standing beside me when i preach i don't have two things one i don't have fear two i don't have shame i just say whatever comes to my mind this angel is telling me don't be ashamed don't be afraid you are representing your super god sisters and brothers so these angels can help us there are also many other angels like angel jophiel angel reguel angel sephaniel angel abrigiel angel ariel angel Samael, Seraphiel, Sadkiel, Galatiel. I had a retreat in uh, one of the places. So I was staying in a home for this retreat. And after the retreat, the dad and the mom, they have two children. And one of the girls, she is just five years. She was very prayerful initially, but slowly she is watching children. tom and jerry always this cartoon she is so much addicted to that so the parents will say come and pray but she is refusing to come and pray and now all of a sudden but she was always prayerful when she was as little as 3 years she is joining them and very happy to pray she was so fond of mother mary but when she started watching tom and jerry the cartoon she lost all interest in prayer she gets angry when they say something So this little and she is called Kathy. This little Kathy, she is always angry because what she watches, she becomes. Because there is always fight, always competition, always running, jib, jumping, fighting, beating, all these things. Those who have seen Tom and Jerry, you know what is the content of it. I'm sorry. One time I watched because I want to know what is in it. It is so interesting. Once you watch, you cannot stop. that's why you need the help of angels to help you sisters and brothers one day this when i visited them they say this kathi changed all of a sudden one day instead of going and playing this watching this game she just joining her hands and praying like a small little uh, like an angel hail mary full of grace so the, the dad and the mom was so surprised and now it is more than 3 4 days that little kathi is all about praying praying unceasingly now sisters and brothers when she started to pray like this they asked what happened to you kathi then kathi said yesterday night i had a vision of my guardian angel my guardian angel came and told me kathi is not good to watch the cartoons you have to pray to mother mary or to pray hail mary or to obey your parents then the parents were shocked how do you know it's the angel How, how did you see the angel how do you know this is the angel who spoke to you with its hard wings then little kathi said i did not have any fear it was so beautiful so light there was white bright wings so i was so happy and excited to see my guardian angel then the dad asked then if it's an angel did you ask the name she said i asked the name then they asked what is the, the name of your angel then kathi said the name of my guardian angel is called angel abrigiel then they were shocked because the first time they hear about guardian angels first time they hear the name of the guardian angels 
even the parents did not get the vision of angels but the little kathi got since then her life got changed because this angel she said that i if i ask this angel she can my angel can help me sisters and brothers but we know when we come more close to the lord we get the revelation of angels they have been appointed we read a powerful incident in the book of these angels can remove fear from your heart you are going for an interview what you have to do first you have to pray for the one who is going to give interview to you maybe your manager my dear guardian angel go and speak to my manager and help him to ask me simple questions because angels can help you angels are in communion with angels so you have to talk to the you, to the guardian angel of your dad if you have broken a plate if you have done such a huge mistake you are afraid to face your dad don't go and face him immediately send your guardian angel first then you go and speak i met this lady she was a nurse in mumbai she wanted to get a job in middle east maybe in dubai so she said she went for a interview she is having lot of fear and basic thing she is slow she told for the my problem if somebody ask me a question i cannot answer immediately i want but first thing is fear so then they feel that no i am not capable but i can do my work but when it comes to giving response i am slow so because of this most of the interviews i fail so i was so sad but one day i pray to my guardian angels my dear guardian angel go and speak to the one who is giving me this interview and help me and she is telling me when she went for the interview before asking a question this interviewer is this man the, this boss is telling her the moment the this person saw her this man the interviewer is telling her i have seen you yesterday you are the one i have seen yesterday in the dream i have no question you are taken for the job that was the interview the angel the guardian angel revealed to him there is a person you need to help and this she will help you in the job sisters and brothers these guardian angels are so amazing we read this is in two kings there's an incident chapter 6 verse 17 this is prophet elisha all these prophets had this divine revelations through the angels people were afraid and the angels removed the fear then elisha together with me then elisha prayed oh, oh lord, lord please, please open, open the, his eyes that, that he may see. see so the so lord, lord opened the, the eyes of the, the servant and he saw the, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire, fire all around elisha. elisha full of horses and chariots of fire they symbolizes angels sisters and brothers our god is called god of armies god of armies means god of angels our god is called god of hosts god of hosts means god of angels let's kindly stand we sing the hymn of offertory remember you have your guardian angel i hope you know the prayer to the guardian angel the small little prayer which is so important you pray before you sleep daily three times angel of god my guardian dear to whom god's love commits me here ever this day be at my side to light and guard to rule and guide amen let's sing the hymn of offertory now
brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. As we proclaim your wonders, O Lord, in the commemoration of the Holy Virgin Claire, we bring you these offerings and prayers, grant we ask that as their merits are pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ, for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. <music> the founder of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until, until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, John Wilson, our Bishop, and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, and with the blessed apostles and all the saints, especially Saint Claire, who are pleased to you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever amen kindly we stand at the savior's command and formed by divine teaching we dare to say our, our father, father who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name, name. Thy, thy kingdom come thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us do not let us fall into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await to the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ who said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit let's offer each other the sign of peace the lamb of god beholding him who takes away the sins of the world blessed are those called to the supper of the lamb lord i am not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed may the body and the blood of christ keep us safe for eternal life amen My Jesus, I believe that you're present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart, and I embrace you as if you're already there, and unite myself wholly to you, and never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Behold the bridegroom is coming come out to meet Christ the Lord let us pray renewed by partaking of this divine gift we pray o lord our god that by the example of the blessed clare bearing in our body the death of jesus we may strive to hold fast to you alone through christ our lord 
Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The mercy send us. Let's go forth to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. We pray the prayer for priests together. O, o Jesus, Jesus, eternal priest, keep your priests within, within the shelter of, of your heart, heart where none may harm, harm them. them. Keep unstained the anointed hands, which daily hold your sacred body. Keep holy their leaves, moistened with your precious blood. Keep holy and unearthly their hearts, sealed with the sublime mark of your glorious priesthood. Let your love surround and shield them from the contagion of this world. They burst for the glory of God, may be blessed with abundant fruits. And may the one whom they serve be the source of joy to them here on earth and in heaven the eternal crown. Amen. Let them be eager to be with you, to proclaim your good news and to fight against the evil one. Lord, give your church, holy priests, religious and lay leaders. Jesus, Redeemer of the world. Keep here your priests and those of their serve. Holy Mary, Queen of Priests. Pray for your priests. Saint Alphonsa. Pray for the Saint Augustine of England. Pray for England. Holy Family. Keep our families pure and holy. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in the day of the battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power of God, cast into hell Satan, and all other evil spirits who wander throughout the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in the day of the battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power of God, cast into hell Satan and all of the evil spirits who wander throughout the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in the day of the battle. Be our safeguard against the weakness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits, who proud throughout the world, seeking the, the ruin of souls. souls. Amen. Amen. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petitions in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petitions in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petitions in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. The Psalm 91, you will also pray as a homework privately. As we know, one of the work of the angel is leading us to repentance. When the choirs of Seraphim were worshipping prophet Isaiah, immediately started saying, Wow to me, I'm a sinner. Oh to me, I'm a sinner. I have rebelled against God. I'm a man with unclean lips. Let's kneel down, keep our hands open. Here I'm a sinner. He, the angels become your guardians. You are security guard. Let these angels come to help us as we repent of our sins.
Everybody's blessing you. Roster, God is blessing you. Sijil, God is blessing you. Rajan, God is blessing you. Lolita, God is blessing you. Meenakshi, God is blessing you. Aishwarya, God is blessing you. Abisha, Abilash, God is blessing you. Lalu, God is blessing you. Raju, God is blessing you. God is healing someone who broke your neck bone. Shalaba, Halaba, Halabandira, Halabaria, Bandira, Bandira. I can see angels are coming down to you. Angels are joining to worship God. Angels are joining you to worship the Heavenly Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Wherever worship is taking place, angels are joining. They are training us to worship. They are training us to love God. They are helping us to lift God. They are just servants, but they are powerful soldiers of God. Shalaba, halaba, halaba, halaba. They rejoice with those who rejoice in God. They glorify God with those who glorify God. They honor God with those who honor God. Deepti, God is healing you. Deepti, Shalaba. Somebody was severe memory loss. God is restoring your memory. God is blessing Sri Lanka. So many are praying for this country, Sri Lanka. God is blessing this nation. Let's lift Kerala and pray. Let's pray for Lebanon. Lord, we lift. We send angels to them. Lord, send angels. Lord. If possible, kneel down. Lift your hands. Give me Jesus once again, we say. Take everything away from me. Give me Jesus. take everything away but I just need my Jesus this is what the angels fight for us this is what the angels delight in us when we take Jesus when we worship Jesus oh Lord I need you I beg you to remove everything far away from me my money my wealth everything of this worldly take it away remove it far give me Jesus Sister Gracie, God is blessing you. Sister Nancy, God is blessing you. Sister Beth, Sister Jasmine, Sister Alfonso, God is blessing you. Sister Angelica, God is blessing you. Sister Lily, God is blessing you. Sister Preeti, God is blessing you. Sister Prasanna, God is blessing you. Father Agnello, God is blessing you. Father Vinosh, God is blessing you. Suresh, God is blessing you. Suresh, your angels are coming to help you. Let's bow to the Lord, O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving, be every moment thine, O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament 
divine. All, all praise and all, all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. May Almighty God bless you, give you good sleep, give you good dinner. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Sleep well, don't snore. Let your guardian angels guard you, stay with you, and help you. Be blessed.